Okay, for this question, we're told that we need to calculate the size of the critical radius as well as the number of copper atoms in this critical nucleus when solid copper forms via homogeneous nucleation. We're told the freezing temperature of copper in degrees Celsius. We're given the heat of fusion. We're given the solid liquid interfacial energy or the surface energy. And we're told that the typical undercooling for homogeneous nucleation of copper is 236 degrees Celsius. Finally, we're told that copper is FCC and it has a lattice parameter 0.3615 nanometers. So, how do we get started on a question like this? First thing we should write up is what is the expression for the critical radius size, r star. r star, we know that that's equal to negative 2 times the surface energy between the solid and the liquid, so we can put SL there. This is going to be multiplied by the temperature where you expect the transformation to take place. Let's just call that T alpha beta, going from the liquid to the solid phase, so it'd be going from alpha to beta. This is all divided by the heat of fusion, delta H, right? Um, sub F. And then this is multiplied by the difference in temperature, or in other words, this is T alpha beta minus the temperature where we're actually at. So let's start plugging in values here. Negative 2 multiplied by negative 177 times 10 to the negative 7, that's in joules per centimeter squared. Right. Multiply this by the temperature, we need to do 1085 and then add 273 to turn that into Kelvin. We take this whole thing, we're going to divide it by the heat of fusion, which is 1628 joules per centimeter cubed. Right? And then multiply this by the difference in temperature. And we know that we are 236 degrees below the melting temperature. So T alpha beta minus T is just going to be equal to 236. And since we're talking about differences in temperature, we can use Kelvin there. Actual temperature, Celsius doesn't equal Kelvin, but Celsius and Kelvin are on the same scale, so a difference in temperature, we can just convert directly. Okay, plugging values in for this, we find that our critical nucleus radii, nuclei radius is going to be 12.51 times 10 to the negative 8th centimeters. Notice that the centimeters squared up here, these cancel with two of the three of those, the joules cancel, the kelvins cancel, and that's why this comes out just in centimeters. So now that we have the radius of this, that's the first part of the question, is it want us to calculate the size of the critical radius, we've got that complete. The next part of the question says, all right, how many copper atoms are in this nuclei, right? So to do that, we're going to need to do the following. We're going to have, we know the volume, um, we know the radius of the critical nucleus. So we need to turn that into a volume, and then we need to figure out how many copper atoms exist on a per volume basis. So first, let's figure out the volume of the critical radius. It's spherical, and it has a radius r star. Therefore, it has a volume of four thirds pi r cubed. which when we plug in numbers, this is equal to 8200 times 10 to the negative 24th centimeters cubed, right? Now we need to figure out what, how many atoms do we have per unit cell? Well, we know that it's, it's FCC. That means that we have four copper atoms per cell. So our volume of our unit cell, that's going to be equal to A cubed. When we punch in numbers for that, that's going to be 0 0.3615. Turning nanometers into centimeters, this is going to be times 10 to the negative eighth centimeters. Cubing that, we find that the volume of our unit cell is 47.24 times 10 to the negative 24th centimeters cubed.
So we're almost there. Now we can take the volume of our nucleus and divide it by the volume of our unit cell. Eighty two hundred times ten to the negative twenty four. Divide this by forty seven point two four times ten to the negative twenty four. And this is equal to one hundred and seventy four unit cells. And since we know that there are four atoms per unit cell, then the number of copper atoms is equal to 4 times 174, which tells us that there are 696 atoms per radius, or per nucleus, excuse me.